If we ask for it, iOS lets us place content anywhere on the screen, including at the top below the system clock, and even at the bottom below the home indicator. This does not look great, which is why by default, SwiftUI restricts us to a rectangular area that does not overlap any part of the system UI or get clipped by curved devices like the iPhone 13, an area called the safe area. We can see in action if we wrap our text in a form and then a section, I'll just push it on in there and get rid of the padding like that. A simple layout. Now I'll press Command R to build and run our code. And you'll see the same thing we had in our canvas preview, hello world like that. But now it's interactive. So I can grab anywhere here with my mouse and just pull it down as if it's my finger scrolling around. But as I scroll up, it goes off the screen. And notice how part way, it actually overlaps the uh, clock up here. You can't really see what it says anymore, it's pretty ugly. So it's mostly fine, it starts in the safe area, which is great, but as soon as you scroll around, it starts to overlap the system UI, which is less great. And a common way of fixing this is with the navigation bar at the top. So the, the form will scroll below the navigation bar without touching the system UI. And it's actually fairly easy to do in Swift UI. You've seen how we have our text view here, wrapped inside a section, wrapped inside a form. Well, we can just wrap that whole thing inside a navigation view which provides for us a navigation bar plus the ability to show new screens and hide screens later on. We're not gonna cover that here. All we care about for now is navigation views. Let us add a nice space at the top like this. Here's my preview updating now. Bang, nice big gray area at the top of the screen. That's our navigation bar in action. It looks fine. Obviously it looked better with a title at the top and we can do that by adding a modifier to our form we can say I want to have this thing have a navigation title of Swift UI, like that. And now it'll update, bang. Nice big chunky Swift UI font. Now, what's happening here is it is now wrapping our whole form with this title. So when it appears in any navigation view in any part of a program, it'll have that title attached to it. Make sure you attach it to the form and not to the navigation view itself. It belongs to the form, the thing inside the view. Now, when you add a title like this, you can see you get the lovely big chunky iOS style font. If you want, you can get a smaller font with a different modifier. That is navigation bar title display mode. And you're gonna say dot inline. I should say, by the way, Xcode has fuzzy co-completion. So if I do nav title, I can just choose the right one very quickly. Anyway dot in lines that you want, and you'll get this different style of font here, much smaller, much more compact. If you want to see which to use and when, look at an app like settings. You'll normally see the big chunky font on the initial screen for an app, and then the smaller font on all subsequent screens.